Hi, am I speaking with Candy? Yes, she. Hi, Candy. I'm calling from the corporate office. At, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call, though, is I understand you reached out to us with a complaint. Yes, sir. Tell me what happened. Um, and who are you with now? Are you, like, in a corporate office? Yes, I am. I'm with the corporate complaints team. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, I've had going to your this for many years. I mean, we've been going probably about many years. And, you're breaking um, up. I've you're br- really you're breaking up there, ma'am. Sir? Yeah, you're breaking up Sir? there. You're breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. Let me go in here. So, um, I've always had really good service. And so I went in to get two tires replaced. And um, so I sat down. I I scheduled an appointment. I was supposed to be there at 1 o'clock. And I'm never there over an hour. I really like the way their scheduling has always been all of these years. But I waited till about 10 till 2. I saw my car leaving the parking lot and going into the, you know, the tire tire place, you know, where they were going to start working. So I'd actually sat there 50 minutes before they had started working on it, which is fine. And then I, it was about probably 20 after 2. So that means I'd been in there almost an hour and a half. I went up to the desk and Sean Wilson was there. I've never seen him there, but he he talks really loud he, he comes across as being kind of aggressive, and I think it's because his voice is so loud. But I asked him, I said, well, they were going to check it out and then come and tell me what I needed, if I needed two tires, why are my 65,000-mile tires wearing out, and that sort of thing. Can you check on it for me? And I went back and sat down, and he came rolling in, with that tire, with with the bad tire, one of my bad tires, he rolled it all the way in and into I'm sorry, the waiting area was, where this everybody was. Uh, was. Sean? This was Sean. Sh- yes, this was Sean that you said you were dealing with. Yes, Sean Wilson. Sean he Wilson. rolled that tire into. You know, it was it was one of the bad ones I wanted to replace. Sir, and he rolled it in, sir. <laughs> yep. And so he rolled it into the waiting area and he said, this is why, this is why your, your tires are being worn. You never get an alignment. You never get an alignment. And I mean, I'm sitting there in front of all these people. He didn't call me up to the counter and he didn't have the tire on the end of the counter. Like, you know, Miss Sir? James, can you come here? This is your problem. Sir, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. And so, um, you know, I said, he said, you just been coming in here getting uh, tires and you've never gotten alignment. And I said, well, let me tell you one thing. I have always trusted Mary Ann. She's been there for years. I have always trusted Chris. And I said, if they had looked at me and said, you know, Miss James, you need an alignment, I would have given you. I I would have done an alignment. And um, I said, you know, just put my tires on. I mean, it just really, the way that he blasted me in front of those people, he was making it sound Sir. like I was coming out there, Sir. getting tires, getting credit for my mileage on my tires, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, just in front of everybody. I said, please put my tires back on there. I said, I'll just go across the street. And Sir? he said, I know what's wrong with you. You're you're just upset because you've had to wait. An hour and a half is a typical wait. And I said, so you mean if I didn't schedule this, I could just, you know, I would drive up and I would get seen quicker? Or what are you saying? Sir? Well, an appointment usually helps. But And I said, I have been out here for years I've never waited over an hour. Never. I have had Marianne has come in there and said, you know, I'm sorry we're running a few minutes behind. You, you know, we just bear with me. And I'd say, okay. But um, anyway, so he just kept on. I mean, he he just kept on like a little bulldog to the point where one time oh, I was standing goodness, up. Sir? One time I just did my hand over at him like, just hush. Sir. Just hush. And um, 
they put so anyway they put my tires back on well before that i said what is taking so long and he said well they had it all ready you were going to be ready to go you were going to be walking out the door but then you wanted your tires your own tires put back on yeah. And I, and I said, um, you know, I didn't say anything back to him. I doubt that. Put my old tires back on. The the tech drove it around to the front of the store. I yeah. got in it. I paid him twenty dollars because he had actually been out there working on it an hour. Right. And um, I drove off, and I felt like I was going down a railroad track. My tires were just bumping, and and the, it was affecting the steering. You know, and I mean, we don't have a big town, but I mean, I was, I mean, I was really, I was like, what in the heck Ah. is is happening? Ah. And so I went from that store to Mavis, which Ah. is probably about three miles. And Mavis says that the the, uh, the two rear tires that I went in originally to replace, uh, they had put on the front uh, and they had. And they had not um, Mm. balanced them and stuff, I guess. I don't know. But on top of everything, he let me, I mean, they let me walk out without, you know, in an unsafe car. Bloody hell. Sir. Uh, m- yes, sir. Ma- ma'am, while you were talking, I patched in the uh, the store there. I patched in, uh, I think I've got Sean over at the store there. Sean, are you there? Yes, yes. What's going on? This is the lady. You talked to the lady that complained. Ma'am, can you hear me? I can. What is going on? What is the issue? What's the problem? I'm here to help. Um, I mean, Thank you, I Sean. just want you Appreciate to be held that. accountable for what you know the on? customer service that you lacked. The customer and, service that um, I lacked? That you lacked? Hello. What? Go ahead, Hello. sweetie. What are you whispering about, I'm there, man? Who are you whispering to? Me? Yeah, I heard you whispering to someone. I didn't whisper. I mean, my husband's right here. Oh, what's his problem? Hello. Hello. No, nothing is his problem. Okay, well, I, I've got Sean from over at the store. Is there something Sean needs to do to put things right here? Um, no, I just wanted to file a complaint. I mean, I will never go back to Tires Plus, and the one and only reason is because of him and the way that, I mean, what he could have done is he could have called me over to the side with my Ma'am, tire. I tried to call you he, to the side, but you were spying on, you were spying on several of the individuals working on the vehicles. You came out several times, and they were, they were a little bit perturbed. How you were sneaking I mean, around? It's okay. Spying. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk to. Sh- I'm not gonna listen. I, the, the reason why I left and I'm not going back is because I'm not talking to him. He's not gonna be. He has never learned customer service. You smile. You say you're sorry. Let me sorry, turn my hearing aid on. Unhappy up. customer. Can you hear me? I got the hearing yes. aid in. What was that? Now I have my hearing aid in. <laughs> I said that you lack customer service. You shouldn't go back and forth at me. You should not be telling me over the phone. I mean, you still have not, not one time have you said you're sorry. Not once. Like, I'm sorry, For what? ma'am. For what exactly? I'm not going to talk to him anymore. I'm not going to talk to him anymore. I can apologize to you in person. Nope, that's fine. I think, Sean, I, I think, Sean, you should go over there and you should change her tires out for her to put, put them right because they were they were rattling and wobbling when she left the place. No, so if I've you can, all of my tires are if you can, right now. if you can go over to her house tonight and replace no, all her he, tires with some new ones or at least some good quality secondhand ones, that would be great. No, no, no. Ma'am, no, he's gonna, he's gonna, house. he's no. gonna be over there within the hour, ma'am. And he's going to take all those tires off for you, and he's going to give you some high-quality refurbished tires, okay? I'm sorry, sir, but he is not coming to my house. We're gonna, I will call the police. We're going to put some racing he, tires on there so the car goes even faster for you, okay? It's going to be an, like an upgrade. 
He's, okay, I'm going to call the Perry Police Department right now and he's, tell them he's that gonna this is a race. harassing phone call. No, ma'am, we're not harassing you. We're going to give you free tires to make up for the customer no, service not, problem like you wanted. No, I'm not going to do this at 8 o'clock at night. Well, he's, no. We're going to put racing slicks on the car, so it go, it's like an upgrade. Okay, these are high quality... Like, they're completely smooth. They're great for going really fast, okay? He's going to come around. He's going to put them on there tonight. He's going to be okay, there. Okay, I'll tell you what. i tell you what. You come over here and see what happens. Okay. You bring them racing slick. Yeah, we that's... Are calling, we are calling the Perry police. Come Why? on over here, buddy. Mr. Scobie, can come you... Come over there. Can you... Who's he, there? He's on his way now, sir. Hey, we'll I'm talking to you, place. buddy. This not go. Hey. No, don't hang up. They didn't hang up properly. Let's just listen. They're freaking out now. We're still connected. Let me get a dial tone ready in case they try and try and call the actual cops. Hello. Oh she hung up, damn it. I thought we'd get I thought we'd get to dial them.